Hi friends, welcome to BioGlow. Today we are going to discuss the topic Airborne Fungal Diseases. Myself, Muhammad Jaisil A, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, Marcus at San Science College, Adhavanad. First one, Cryptococcus. The causative agent Cryptococcus neoformans. It's a fungus. A budding yeast cell inhabiting soil as a saprophyte. It's mainly present in soil. Both yeast and basidiospore forms are infectious. The infectious agents of cryptococcus disease is yeast and basidiospore produced by cryptococcus and neoformans. Then infectious forms can be spread through birds excreta. Mainly the infection is acquired through the inhalation of birds excreta. The infection is also occurred by the inhalation of aerosol forms of the Cryptococcus neoformans fungi. It causes fatal meningoencephalitis in HIV patients and pulmonary cryptococcosis leads to mild pneumonitis. Meningoencephalitis means an infection in the meningococcal membrane and forming pulmonary cryptococcus leads to mild pneumonitis. Pneumonitis means which is the condition in which infection in air sac in lungs which may fill with the fluid. What are the symptoms of cryptococcus? Fever, lesions, fatigue, dry cough, headache and blurred vision. These are the symptoms of Cryptococcus. Second one, blastomycosis. Causative agent, blastomyces dermatitis. Usually, this fungi is always found in the soil and decaying organic matter like wood or leaves, etc. Transmitted by participating the activities like outdoor activities like hunting or camping in wooded areas, the increased risk of developing blastomycosis. Mainly the blastomycosis is transmitted through the inhalation of the spores which are present in the air from soil source. Illness can occur 2 to 15 weeks after the inhalation of spores. Mainly the 2 to 15 weeks is the incubation period of blastomycotic disease. No chance for person to person transmission. So person to person transmission is very rare in the case of blastomycosis. Infection is chronic. If it infects only the lungs, it is called pulmonary blastomycosis. Pulmonary blastomycosis means when this disease is affected by lungs. There is no vaccine, but the disease can be prevented by caring while deal with the soil. Mainly, generally, there is no vaccine is available for blastomycosis. Only preventive measure can reduce the risk of blastomycosis. The main symptoms of blastomycosis are formation of separative and granulomatous lesions, cough, fever and chill. Separative means pus forming lesions. Then coccidioidomycosis or valley fever or desert rheumatism. Causative organism coccidioidus immitis. It's a dimorphic saprophyte fungus that grows as a mycelium in the soil. Dimorphic means fungi exist as both yeast and mold forms. The disease usually spread through the formation of arthrospores and mainly spread by air by the disruption of soil during the activities like construction, farming or the natural calamities like earthquake. Transmission mainly through the inhalation of dust particles containing arthrospores. It is a major cause of community acquired pneumonia in US. Community acquired pneumonia means nothing but the disease caused by a person outside the healthcare system. Mild infection. It is a mild infection leads to self-limited influenza fever known as valley fever or desert rheumatism. Self uh, valley fever means a self-limited 
influenza like condition valley fever means a self limited influenza like condition what are the symptoms of coccidioidomycosis tiredness fever cough headache rash on the skin and muscle pain these are the symptoms of coccidioidomycosis then fourth one histoplasmosis histoplasmosis is caused by the organism histoplasma capsulatum the disease transmission is mainly through the inhalation of fungal spores which are found in soil and in the droppings of bats and birds the person to person transmission of the disease is absent mainly the disease is transmitted through the inhalation of fungal spores present in soil and the droppings of birds and bats infection gets starts within 2 weeks after exposure 2 weeks is the incubation period of a histoplasmotic disease histoplasmosis is an intracellular infection of lungs similar to tuberculosis and sometimes spread to other parts like skin that means uh, something infection of lungs means uh, uh, pulmonary histoplasmosis most infections of histoplasmosis are asymptomatic condition the common symptoms include fever chills dry cough flu like illness and breathing difficulty generally normally they require does not treatment aspergillosis organism aspergillus fumigatus it's a mole present in both outdoor and indoor activities but only the immunosuppressed persons get sick due to aspergillosis aspergillosis is an opportunistic infection opportunistic means an infection occurs during opportunities like weakened immune system in some people it may cause only allergic infection but in some others it cause serious forms like invasive aspergillosis invasive aspergillosis means the aspergillosis that affect lungs aspergilloma is a chronic condition in which fungus grow as a fungal balls in the lungs the transmission of aspergillosis is mainly through the inhalation of spores what are the symptoms of aspergillosis fever asthma repeated cough chest pain and fatal bleeding these are the symptoms of aspergillosis Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.